As unemployment uh, claims have skyrocketed because of the coronavirus crisis, CARE 11 investigates has found there has been a flood of fraudulent claims. And Lauren Lemanchek discovered even if you haven't filed a claim, you might still be a victim of the scam. It's a process thousands of Minnesotans have gone through since the start of this pandemic, filing for unemployment. But Vicki Geyer wasn't one of them. So when this paperwork showed up in the mail? I was pretty shocked. It just said that I had filed for unemployment, which I didn't because I'm still currently employed. She wondered how it had happened. They would have needed my social security number and obviously my address where I was employed. Vicki called the state unemployment line. I had to hang on the line for two hours. Her notes from the call show she was told they'd had lots of claims like hers, all from accounts opened May 24th, and it's happening all across the country. The Secret Service sent out this bulletin on May 14th, warning of massive fraud by a well-organized Nigerian fraud ring. That's just days before the fake filing made in Vicki's name. And while the Secret Service doesn't mention Minnesota as one of the state's hardest hit, they say it is extremely likely that every state is vulnerable to this scheme and will be targeted, with potential losses in the hundreds of millions of dollars. It's essentially a free-for-all uh, for most of the, a lot of these West African uh, cyber criminals who do this for a living. Crane Hassold from Agari Security has been tracking these groups, the same ones who often try to steal tax returns. Is it likely that these groups have targeted Minnesota? They're hopping from state to state, testing each state's uh, procedures to see if they can make any money through each state. There could be a million of these out there. Minnesota seems to be one of the targets. Right around the same time we heard from Vicki, we also heard from a medical group saying that several of their doctors had had unemployment fraudulently filed in their names. And we heard from a local police department telling us they'd had 20 reports about the same scam. The Minnesota Department of Employment and Economic Development, known as DEED, confirms we've seen an uptick in activity as bad actors try to take advantage of expanded benefits available under the CARES Act. How many? Deed says 5,000 reports of potentially fraudulent filings in the past month. They say they think they've caught 95% of them even before people reported it. A Deed spokesman says they've also stepped up their security to stop thieves. So how does someone like Vicky's information wind up in their hands? Of course, data breaches have been all too commonplace in the past couple of years. And, you know, honestly, most people's information is probably out there somewhere on the, you know, the dark market. A jarring reality. I'm very careful with my social security number. Uh, rarely use it for anything. So knowing that somebody had it now, um, it was very upsetting. For CARE 11 Investigates, Lauren Lemanchek. If you received a notice about an unemployment filing, but you didn't set up an account, report it to Deed right away. Then make sure to call and report the identity theft to credit monitoring agencies.